Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a, a detailed review on this Flexzilla uh, pressure washer hose. Okay, so this is the quarter inch, 3100 PSI hose. Now, I did an earlier video and it wasn't the best. So people wanted to know how flexible it is under pressure, so I'm gonna show you that today. Um, I really like Flexzilla hoses and I thought I would get a pressure washer hose. I've got their garden hose. In my opinion, their, their garden hose is the best garden hose I've ever had. I've got another detailed review on the, on the water hoses. So I've also got an air hose. Um, and it, it's the best air hose I've ever had. Quarter inch, 300 PSI for like an air compressor for using air tools. So here's a pretty standard hose for pressure washer. Now, this one's pretty thick it's it's not you can't bend it like you can't kink it it's so hard that you can't kink it um, it's kind of lightweight um, it's it's still flexible like a garden like a garden hose will get and it'll just get so hard after a couple years but I've had this one oh man five or six years now this is just a standard hose that came with the machine now here's the flexibility of this so I can you know, it looks like I can kink that. Now, this is not under pressure. I'm going to show you that under pressure. But this is super, super flexible. It feels like it's really, really well made. Now, the ends. The biggest... I had the, I had the hardest time with the ends. Um, so, the, both ends have the same threads. So, both ends come with... These adapters, I had to buy the adapters. They don't come with adapters. And pressure washer threads and all that are, are kind of hard to understand. Now, I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. Um, I made an extension out of mine. So like I said, I plug this into the pressure washer. See, that's the, that's the disconnect that this one came with. And now I've got one on there just like it. And here's my pressure washer. It's nothing fancy. But it, I think it's a pretty standard pressure washer. It's got this disconnect. And that fits. But I had to put this like mail to mail. And then I was able to buy this adapter. There's probably a, a, an easier way to do it. But that's how I had to do it. Because this is my old hose. Yeah, and it goes on there too. See how I've got it on there. But you'll notice these threads are different than, than these. That's really big. And that's kind of like a male, and that's a female. So here, here's a package called the Metric Quick Disconnect. It says it converts metric threads to 3 8 disconnect. So you can see that's the part, the plug, and then the socket there's the quick disconnect part so the quick disconnect that part is that part that part is that part now I'm gonna put it in the description I'll put what this is that's a mail to mail and I'll put all three of these in I think you can get them all off Amazon I'm, I'm almost positive again here's I've got some extra so here's here's what those pieces will look like so that's that and then that's going to screw into that. I um, checked the threads. It says it's a metric 15, I think. Or 5. I think it's a metric 5, 0.5 or something. So originally, I didn't want this black hose at all anymore. I wanted to get rid of it. And I was going to put the flex, the Flexzilla hose right into the, um, maybe this end. I was going to put this end right into the hose. I couldn't get that off and besides that's a different I would have had to get a different adapter to go from there to what those threads are see those threads are that's what those threads look like on the inside of there so I would have had to get another adapter to go from there to there not I'm not exactly sure what size threads those are but anyway I couldn't get it off I tried and tried and tried so I ended up just making an extension out of it so now I've got this black I got to keep using the black hose so now I've got this. This is what I used to plug into the pressure washer. Now I just plug it into here. And then I plug the other end of this into the pressure washer. 
um, because washing out is mainly for washing the house. Um, I was so tired of moving the darn uh, pressure washer all around. So now I've got a nice extension and I don't have to move the pressure washer as much. So now I'm going to plug it all in. We're going to fire it up and we're going to see how flexible it is. Okay, I'm going to go over here. We're going to go far, far away. Thing's super loud okay so I've got it on I've got pressure I've got my pressure washer cranked up pretty high I think it's about 3,000 psi now I purposely left a kink in it so let's see if it kinks no it doesn't want to kink I'm pulling on that pretty darn hard is it now it's under pressure right now now it's not I can't I could not kink that if I tried um, it's super flexible. Um, it, but is it as flexible as this? Yeah, the, the, the green one might be a little more flexible, but the black one here is still pretty flexible too. Again, you just got kind of big swooping curves because, uh, because it won't kink. Now this one that curves a little, it is a little more flexibility because the curve is a little bit bigger. But you can see it's taking the pressure really well. Another thing, it is more, it is lighter weight than the black one, than kind of like a standard pressure washer hose. This is lighter weight. And it does seem just a little bit th uh, thinner. The black one's supposed to be the same size, but it feels heavier and just a little thicker. But I do like this one. It is lightweight. It doesn't kink. I mean, I couldn't kink that if I tried. So that's a pretty good deal. And it is really, really flexible. And it's not super warm out today. I have used this in the winter. I have not noticed a difference in the winter. It's about the same flexibility. Again, there's my Flexil. I absolutely love these. Uh, I, really, I like this one too. It just was a little more pain uh, figuring out the adapters and stuff. But I like it. This seems really well built. It doesn't seem like it wants to pull out. Now, when you don't have as much pressure on it, it is, you know, I could look, I can, I can fold, fold it even more. So I purposely did not uncoil it either. I just pulled it and it didn't kink. Normally if you don't uncoil them just right and you pull on it out, it'll kink up on you, but this one did not. So I'm gonna do, the next part of this video is gonna be um, a screen, I'm gonna do a screen uh, record and try to find the parts for you on Amazon. Okay, so again, I wanna go over this. Here's this, it says it's a 15 metric adapter. So I've got my thread set here. This says 1.5 millimeter, that's the threads that fit perfect in there. 1.5 millimeter. And see this screws into that. So the reason I'm showing you this is that's what the threads are. So this is the hose. It doesn't come with fittings. That's what size the threads are inside the hose. So you're gonna have to buy some things to make this work. So another benefit, when I was putting these hoses up, this one coils up so much nicer. This one is really stiff when you're coiling it up. And this one is really lightweight. Um, this one's probably twice as, the Flexil is probably twice as long as this one. And this one was lighter weight. So another benefit, it does just coils up really nice. This one's kind of stiff even when there's no pressure on. So again, no pressure on. It's just kind of, it's nice. Okay, so here are the three parts that you'll need from Amazon. Well, two parts. One is the actual hose, but the other two, that's the quick disconnect fitting. And then the other one is that kind of adapter. It's got male threads on each side. Here's the, um, the quick disconnects that I used. It's called an M22 with 15 millimeter. And Amazon keeps them in stock. 
here's this fitting. It's called an M22 male thread adapter. And it's only eight bucks and it looks like it's in stock too. So here's the hose that I purchased. I got the 50 foot length and it was $77. So thanks everybody for watching. I did an earlier video on this pressure washer hose and it wasn't one of my best videos. So I made a promise to um, redo the video. I hope this video is a little bit better. And again, these threads are really confusing. I hope to help somebody with the threads. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.